Hello everyone and welcome back to the X-Ring. So in today's episode, we're going to be talking about Microtech knives. For those that are new to the channel, you might not know that my day job is actually working for Microtech Defense Industries. I've actually been with Microtech knives for since about 2012 or so. And, you know, I'm a big knife guy. What I see is, you know, a lot of gun guys are big knife guys as well as motorcycle guys. And over the last couple months, Microtech has released some really cool knives. They're really known for their out the fronts. Uh, everything from the LUD T2, which came out uh, about a month and a half or so ago, to where they had the new dual fuel drivetrain system, like you saw on the new Combats, the Combat Troodon, as well as the Scarab, the Hera. And they started incorporating some of the screwless design within the chassis. Now, for those that aren't familiar with Microtech knives, and maybe this isn't something that you're interested in, uh, Microtech, this is their 30th year anniversary. These knives are all made in the United States, uh, with the exception of the right collaborations, which that's actually being terminated. Um, and so everything is made in-house in either Bradford, Pennsylvania, or any of our three locations here in North Carolina. I've been a huge fan of these knives. I've actually been carrying them for close to 24 years now. And some of the knives that I've carried over the years could really tell some stories. So back when I was a law enforcement officer, this knife right here, I actually used this to uh, cut someone out of a vehicle. It was an overturned vehicle. Uh, there was two, two occupants in the vehicle. Unfortunately, one of them didn't make it. But having that one-handed operation of being able to just cut someone out, it made it really nice. And all of them incorporated, you know, glass breakers and everything at the time. And guys, I'm not trying to sell you on a Microtech, but the owner of the company has uh, allowed me to show you guys a prototype that's going to be releasing sometime this summer. Now, for those that always looked at out the fronts as kind of like a toy, um, you know, once that blade gets propelled and that lock mechanism drops in behind the actual blade itself, I mean, this is a rigid lockup. I've done tons of torture tests where I could actually take any of these knives and drive them through a two by four, pull them back out, and that mechanism still works. So once it gets to that lock position, it's actually just like a fixed blade. You know, one of the other things is, is you know, it has a safety mechanism in here because it's, you know, some people call it a safety mechanism, but if you fire it and it hits something on the way out to that lock position, it is going to have this free play like this. And so if you pull it out and you lock it, now it's in that fixed position. But there's something they've never been able to do. There's a couple of companies like, you know, Gavin has the deadlock, which that's going to cost you about $1,800 for one. And then SOG has one called a Pentagon. And what they've been able to do is get rid of that blade play that you feel in some of these out the fronts. So Tony has been diligent at work trying to work on a prototype that has zero blade play. And he's actually done it. And this is a true prototype. Think of this as a concept car because it's not going to look like this aesthetically. It will be different. This is something that we're going to be showing in Texas at Blade Show Texas in Fort Worth next week, February 23rd, 24th. I think we're in booth number 601. But on this knife right here, we should have some available to see, but we should have them ready by Blade Show in Georgia, the, the big one in Atlanta. But this has zero blade play. Now, like I said, this is a true prototype. It is truly a concept, but there is no blade play whatsoever. It uses that dual fuel drivetrain system. So that technology is coming. You know, Microtech and Tony have always tried to be innovative when it came out to the best materials, uh, you know, doing everything in-house. And, you know, Microtech is not a small company. It employs close to 150 people across two states. And it's a, it's a really great organization. It really is. Um, like I said, I have a good relationship with the owner and a good relationship with the company and the internal workings of it. But I wanted to share this with you because that's one of the things that always bothered me about the out the fronts is that blade play that they had. This one actually has no blade play going outwards either. So like on any of these other ones, on any of the out the fronts, when you pull them, you'll have a little bit of blade play there. So I hope you guys enjoyed that sneak peak of the zero blade play microtech that's going to be coming this year hope you guys have a great week i appreciate everyone that follows the channel hope you guys enjoyed that victrix series i had a great time with that you guys take care we'll see you on the next one